So right back there, if you see behind the LC500, is the RCF Track Edition. Now that RCF Track Edition starts at $96,000. Yes, it's gonna be very limited, but $96,000 for that, okay? This, the LC500, starts at $92,000. So if it's my decision, I'm going with the LC500. Now, there's just so much to talk about in the design here. I'm sure it's been all over the internet already. Everyone's reviewed it. Um, it's just a beautiful car. The, the real focus of this video is to show you off the beautiful interior because I haven't seen that many videos of this specific interior. But of course, we're gonna be talking about the exterior just a little bit. Okay guys, we're in the LC500 interior with the nice leather. This is the one you gotta get if you're gonna look at an LC500. It's just beautiful. Um, when you get the tan leather, it's everywhere. It's on the steering wheel, it's on the dash, it's on the center console, it's on your seats, it's on the doors. It's just a beautiful color and everything in here is amazing quality. For Lexus, it's just a great car from them. Um, and it's not just the leather you're getting, they're also including tan Alcantara. So you're gonna see on this Alcantara up here, um, Alcantara on the door panels, the entire door panels are completely covered in Alcantara, as well as the headliner too. So it's a really nice um, interior. And of course, in the center, you're gonna be getting that um, center display for the LC500. <laughs> of course, it's really nice. And it will move to the right and you put it in different modes and you wanna access um, different menus. Um, biggest downside of this interior is that, of course, I'm, I'm sure you've heard a lot of people complain about it. It's really annoying, actually. Um, there's this touch panel here. It's like a mouse. It, it's, it's just so, it's weird. It's very finicky. You gotta get it right. It's definitely better than their old systems. Um, I'm gonna go and take a look at the old GS over there that actually has the old system, and it has a mouse that you move around. That was a bit worse. This is better. Definitely not um, the best though. They've tried to incorporate some haptic feedback in here, so you can't really see it, but as I'm moving around, I'm getting the vibrations um, to see where I'm going. But uh, Acura definitely does it a bit better with their um, true touch system. This is, they need to change this. It's really old and it just needs to be updated. Um, they did remove the gear select here because we're at the auto show and people are gonna try to steal it. Unfortunately, that's how it is, but enter, uh, the center consoles, it's okay. It's not that big. <laughs> you have your little cup holder space here, but that's not the point of this car. This car is about luxury and performance. It's a grand touring car and it's a beautiful grand touring car. I mean, just look at this steering wheel. It's nicely bolstered. It's beautiful with this um, leather um, airbag cover, these nice um, metal paddle shifters over here, and everything in here is so premium and so... Um, beautiful and luxurious just even the buttons everything feels like soft and the tactile feedback is amazing um everything everywhere you touch is either leather metal alcantara or not just no plastic i can't even see plastic anywhere in here yeah it does have back seats don't try to sit back there <laughs> it's really small um the seats themselves are just beautiful this is beautiful like beautiful um design lexus does with their seats the centers are on um, this nice perforated alcantara on the top and the bottom and you have your nice bolstered um leather on the sides and as i'm sitting in it right now it just feels really nice uh, one of my favorite touches of this is the door panels you can see how it just swoops down with this nice metal um separator from the from the uh leather and then the um beautiful alcantara here it just feels so premium and i like how lexus i'm um, included these nice design touches in the alcantara over here i love how um lexus also incorporated this kind of like a gallery style here kind of like what you see on a rolls royce phantom where they have like this nice pattern just dis um display over here behind this panel um glove box is here you open it with the button it's not that big a little bit small It'll probably fit a manual or a few phones or things in here not that big but this is a car that you want to drive, you want to spend a lot of time in it. The seats are super comfortable, super supportive. And why? 
because of that engine. Under the hood, you're getting that five liter naturally aspirated V8. But in here, it doesn't sound like the RCF. It doesn't sound like the GSF. It sounds like the closest thing I can hear to it is an Aston Martin V8 Vantage. It is incredible sounding. It's raw, it's loud, and oh, you can hear it resonate through the inside of the cabin. You can hear it outside. And it can perform too. Lexus made sure this car is able to perform. Let's go and take a close look at the exterior design. So we're going to be talking about the exterior just a little bit. Um, I do really love it. It's just an amazing design. You can see up front, you can see how Lexus has this really nice sports car um, look. It's kind of like an alien design. If you look at on the back, how the greenhouse kind of comes to a point at the end and the rear fender flares just point out. It's just a really clean and beautiful design. So much like the concept car. It, it looks better than the concept car, honestly. Um, you have these nice triple beam LED headlights with the, um, the Lexus swoosh coming out there. And I really do like, <clears throat> with the Lexus swoosh coming out there. And I really do like how they do the LED lights um, on the side too that um, accentuate the front end. And this is one of the best applications of the Lexus grill too. It's really cool how you can see how it swoops out and around too. I've never really seen this um, talked about a lot. And it's really nice attention to detail too. Lexus spent a really long time developing this grill. You can see all the different patterns they have on each one of these prongs. And by um, incorporating all of it, it creates this optical illusion to your eye. So when you take a step back and you look at it, you can see how it folds and all the different curves and bends at it. And it really changes from every single angle that you look at it. It's a really cool design feature. Um, of course, these wheels are absolutely massive. Um, this is was based off a concept car. Um, and you gotta have these wheels to really bring out the body. It's really nice. And it performs too with those brakes underneath as well. Coming around to the rear, of course, you're gonna have your active spoiler. This is actually optional. You don't get this in all the models. Um, this one has the carbon fiber roof too. Um, you can have this in more of a luxurious trim and more of a performance trim. The performance trims can offer, um, I think, a rear limited slip differential too, along with the active spoiler. One of my other favorite features is these rear taillights. You can just see how it has this mirror effect in here. You can see how the L um, repeats itself over and over again. It's just really, really nice. And then another one of my favorite features is the rear of this car. You can see how it all comes to like a point at the end. It really accentuates how wide, how powerful this car is. And coming down to the rear, you see there are actually um, quad exhausts, but they're um, integrated within the bumper and these little um, openings here. I wish they did actual exhaust, but hopefully we'll see that on an LCF that's coming in the future. Thank you.